Once upon a time, in a little room, immersed in the stillness of the night, a little light was flickering, seemingly unable to rest. For many years she had protected the mistress's sleep through the darkest nights, but now something was troubling her deeply. The little light gathered her magical energy and began to flutter around the room. She needed to clear her mind. She paused to look at a picture of her keeper, Alicia, with a thoughtful but determined air of someone who knows it's time to act. The girl with the sweet and ready smile was in the dark place, but the little light had a plan. All she needed was a willing helper, and she knew exactly where to find the perfect candidate. Nauseating sound reminds me of someone. Charming as ever. Rest assured, I would leave you in peace if Alicia weren't sick. Sounds serious. Let me know how it plays out. Enough of your wisecracks! There's no time to waste. She's been taken by dream demons. What do I know about dealing with demons and sick girls? But Alicia... Not interested. I always said you were just a stupid egotist. <sighs> And she kept on believing you were a hero. Listen to me, you luminous little bug. I have no idea what you're talking about. Dream demons? You've got to be kidding. That little girl shut me away in here without batting an eyelid. If something really did manage to get in her dreams, I'm sure she can deal with it. Ooh, now I understand. She hurt your pride, did she? How long have you been stuck in this box? Months? Years? And now, you're refusing to help her because she abandoned you. Why wouldn't she want to play with the stupid, filthy old bear anymore? Well, let me spell it out for you. You're pathetic, cowardly, <sighs> despicable. Darnation, enough with the sermon already. Just tell me what's going on, and then turn yourself off. Ah, oh, poor unfeeling bear. Alicia, our mistress, has fallen into a deep sleep. I know it sounds awfully strange, but demons are devouring her subconscious. Sounds like hogwash to me. But even if it were true, what could the two of us do about it? Trust me, you are the <gasps> last toy I want to ask for help. Cut to the chase, Parasite! Okay, okay, why are you in such a rush all of a sudden? As I was saying, I can use my magic to lead someone into Alicia's dream world. You protected her from monsters in her sleep for years. Ah, so you finally admit that Alicia preferred me to a stupid luminous bug when she went to sleep. I wouldn't brag too much if I were you. I'm just saying that even though you're just a dusty, decrepit old bear now, once you're in there, no one will be able to stand up to you. So what's the plan? Destroy everything in my path? More or less. Okay, then I'll come with you to stretch my paws in the world of dreams. Stretch your paws? Maybe I didn't explain. You've already explained plenty, Parasite. I don't want to be anyone's hero. But you and these demons are really starting to get under my fur. Believe me, you have no idea how frustrated a stuffed animal can get, shut away in a box for so long. What's happening to me? I feel stronger and lighter. We're in Alicia's dream world now. Your appearance is shaped by her imagination. This is starting to get interesting. Let's go. Let's go, Bear! So dark in here. 
A light bulb that's afraid of the dark? Very amusing. Look, over here. Let's try to turn it on. Let's go, Bear! Armor, huh? Whatever's going on with Alicia's imagination, things are looking up. Filthy wolf. Are you lost by any chance? Uh, I guess so. But if you would be so kind as to show me the path, I'll be on my way. A uh. serious air of judgment, my dear. Didn't your mother warn you about <coughs> getting lost? Uh. It's too late now. The forest is infested with abominable wolves who can't wait to tear you to shreds. And they've already caught your scent. So, am I done for? There might be a way to save your fur. If you can get to my grandma's house quickly. If you'd let me get up, I'd already be on my way. Try not to lose your way this time. are giving me the creeps. But we aren't here to run away. We're here to fight, right? No, Furbrain! This is exactly the right time to run away. We have to find a weapon. You won't last long without one. Hmm. Stay still for a few moments. I'll use my magic to mend you. Can you at least try to be a bit more careful? Bear with me, Bear, and stop moaning. <clears throat> there you are, good as new. I have to admit, you did a surprisingly good job. I know, pretty impressive, right? The only impressive thing around here is your ego.
Quake and fear wolves, a rusty pair of scissors. Don't you recognize them? They're the scissors Alicia wasn't allowed to play with as a child. You won't find a better weapon in this world. All they need is a little magic. Oh, wow. The scissors have gotten rid of that pesky bug. Maybe they really are as powerful as she said. Charming as always, but do try to be more careful. I fused my magic with theirs to awaken their true power. You can do it. Come and get them. <sighs> ah, splendid. Now we're talking. Let's find out what these monsters are made of. Kill them all anyway. I'm not taking orders from a petulant pair of scissors. Just concentrate on the task at hand. By absorbing their powers, we will become stronger and stronger. It's the only way we can save Alicia. Just once, could you make yourself useful without bragging about it? With the energy we have absorbed, I can enhance our skills. I hope these skills you're so proud of are worth the time I have to spend putting up with you. Oh, bear of little faith. I love the way you slaughter those revolting wolves. I delight in the hatred I see burning in your eyes, a reflection of my own loathing. What in tarnation is this monster? Did you kill it? All on your own? He's the king of the wolves. It wasn't easy to take him out, but seeing you fight got me so excited, so I wanted to surprise you. 
with a giant corpse. How thoughtful of you. No, my dear. That's not a surprise. Help! Help! This bear killed the King of the Wolves! Here's your surprise. A fight that will drench the entire forest in blood. What in tarnation happened here? I don't know, but I don't like it one bit. Let's hurry along, shall we? <clears throat> that was incredible. You managed to get this far. Watching you fight always lights a fire inside me. I'll oh, wait a minute. This time, it's the forest that's on fire. What are you ranting on about? You have been excellent, Bait. Thank you for luring all the wolves in the forest here. None of them will survive. Now I just have to exterminate the last few remaining in their den. I'll soon put an end to their nasty little species. <sighs> Darn psycho!
Yes, bad. You're right. What a funny coincidence. Funny? We're in a little girl's nightmare, and we're about to go under her bed. I don't like this one bit. You old coward. Let's leave the squabbles for another day, you luminous bug. Right now, we need to stay alert. Thank <laughs> you. 
I knew that you wouldn't die that easily. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Not to mention the assassination attempt. I've got the room all ready for our final dance. And I can't wait to paint it with your blood. It's an honor for my scissors to accept your invitation, milady.
Maybe I should have warned you about something. In the midst of blood, I get much stronger. You're dead. This is the afterlife for bears. Dead? Dead. What in tarnation? <laughs> You're still the same old gullible. Cut to the chase, demon. Just tell me, what am I doing here? You're here because you killed that bloody crazed little girl, Teddy. And I'm deciding whether or not to destroy you. Answer me this one question. Do you know who I am? A bright-eyed freak who wants to kill me. I see. You... You don't remember. Don't remember what? Ah, my head. Don't you dare leave! I'm not done with you yet. Already, glowworm. I'm awake. You're back. You completely lost consciousness. What happened? How on earth should I know? One moment I was here, and the next, something. something tried to kill me. Ha! <laughs> Only you could pass out and have a nightmare while you're already in the land of nightmares. Come along, let's get a move on. Alicia can't save herself.
Oh. The little fairy's voice boomed through the cave with the force of a mighty roar. And the roar grew louder and louder still. The cave itself was roaring. From the walls to the vault, everything started shaking. The cave was collapsing. Teddy ran towards the sunlight as fast as he could, dodging the deadly rocks that were falling all around him. He summoned up his last reserves of energy, and he leaped out of the cave, just before it came crashing down behind them. Safe from danger for now, Teddy and Lighty paused to catch their breath in a verdant clearing. Finally, fresh air! For once, I have to agree with you. It sure is a relief to get out of that cave. Or out from under the bed, or... Well, from wherever it was. 